Welcome to part two, and is that an ape beast? Because it looks remarkably more like an ape now. You see, it's that sort of thing that makes me think that Constantine and the trickster weren't quite one and the same. Yeah, they got some tricky loot here. But the, the fact that the ape beasts were more like rats in the first game when they were under the control of Constantine. Here, in the new Maw of Chaos, they seem a lot more natural, a lot more allied with what the pagans are really all about. Gas arrow. That would have been incredibly useful if I hadn't passed a point of no return after that one full helm mechanist. And even if I hadn't, uh, there's no reason to go back there anyway. But yeah, these are ape beasts, non-humans. Technically speaking, I could just murder them all, but, uh... Gareth feels that there's been enough bloodshed today. You guys saw that, right? My guy just sort of teleported across the screen. Oh. An unfortunate number of ape beasts here. An unfortunate number of lights, too. Yeah, that's something to consider is that these ape beasts. They aren't wearing clothes. They aren't using swords. That's something that Constantine's ape beasts did all the time. Even the ones in the Maw of Chaos itself. But now they aren't. And I like to think it's not just because the ape beasts were redesigned for Thief 2. I like to think that their new look reflects on the new reality of the pagan cult, one without Constantine. Oops. Oh, shit. So that little tube is a dark gun? Damn. taken a lot of damage in this level. There's a couple more things to grab over this way. This is the other way to get down there. Drink a slow fall potion and then just fall off the ledge. Like I said, it's not perfectly effective. Plus you still need to find a way to get back up. And all there is is stone surrounding you. Huh. I don't know, maybe the arrow I found could have done it, but... Lieutenant Mosley. Something here. 
Yeah, Tree Village Spring. And sure enough, there are blossoms on all the trees. I wonder what season it is back in the city. Time to go up into the trees. Hope he doesn't turn around. Oh, good. I'm glad there's so much. Whoops. I'm glad there's so much healing fruit around, too. Probably nothing. Always nothing. Night. Another letter. Let's see. Yeah, Lieutenant Mosley seems to have been the one to reach out to the pagans rather than the other way around. Trails continuing here. Seems like the spatters are getting farther apart though. seems like I'm being kind of wasteful, but honestly there's not much more of this level, and next time we won't be carrying our equipment through. Alright, that, that continues on, so let's find the... whoops. Must come from downstairs. Here's the summer village. What's that? that sees me. You know, these villages seem awfully enclosed with one another. Ah, more healing fruit. Hopefully, I won't need it anymore. And another one of these vine arrows. Let me try it out. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like it works basically like a rope arrow. I'll get into the differences between vines and ropes later on, but for now we have a new objective. And we've completed it too. Yes, it's a bonus objective in the truest sort. Congratulations! You've collected 900 loot on a level where you don't actually have a loot requirement. Pretty awesome. Right, now... On to fall. Wait, this doesn't feel right. This isn't fall at all, is it? No, no it's not. This is spring. I went the wrong way. Sorry about that. Right, so, from spring into summer. From summer into fall. Not more red here. This looks about right. Oops. Must have been nothing. Whoops. Glad 
glad it took him a moment. Oh, another letter. Now this one's pretty interesting. So it's been the mechanist behind my problems this whole time. And that's what makes it important. Not important enough to be an objective, but still. So this might seem a bit wasteful, <sighs> but that was seriously like the, the last guy in the mission. Like they were saying, only winter is next, and winter is completely undefended, because what's he could see get see that as far as... There's a couple more things to grab around here somewhere. Like there's a pair of masks, I think. If I can find where they are. Aha! Uh -huh. There they are. I have no idea who's paying for these, and honestly, I don't care. almost all of the loot for this level, including all of the loot from the last level. I believe this is the way to winter. Ah, yes. I hope this guy doesn't run out of blood. He does seem to be running low. One last letter here. This is the one where she initiates the idea of assassinating Truart. So I guess this confirms the pagans were behind that. Oh, and here's something interesting. So this is snow, right? You'd expect Garrett to be a, a bit louder on snow. But I'm guessing that the developers remembered the end cutscene from the last game in which Garrett has some sort of magic ability to not make any sound on snow. Which kind of makes you wonder why he's so damn loud on tile and metal. What kind of weird-ass shoes is he wearing? Now, where's the way back up? It's gotta be in one of these trees. That's right, it was in the tree next to the regular tree. So the way forward looks like it's blocked off by a bunch of icicles. Maybe this will help. Well, I suppose it did. But what helps even more is just to hammer at them with your sword. Let's have one quick look at the map before we keep going, just to show you the complete map here. Alright, so I have no idea what triggers this because it's not related to being in the light because I've done this without- holy shit! What are those things? They are trying to kill me. They aren't always active. I don't know what makes them active because I've done this without activating them. 
Holy shit. Where's my speed potion? Okay, game's over. Fuck you guys. you wish to fight? Me? Or my Thistleades? Oh, or the Sycamore? Just you. I am not the enemy, Garrett. Nor anyone here. Here is your enemy. Mechanists. It's no secret that they wish to destroy you, too. Hero that you are. Regardless, you will join us in our struggle against them. Join you? Not really my first choice. Choice? My choice is to avenge the death of a friend. You understand nothing of suffering and duty. Pathetic man, fool. In one moment, I could... The past is the past. Now we have an enemy in common. Even you must see that this is so. I seem to have a lot of enemies lately. Anyway, you have matters well in hand. It is true that I am powerful, but I draw my strength from this place. Where the mechanists are, I am... Not so assured of victory. Pity. I have no time for your vengeful thoughts and biting words. But be assured, Garrett, you are stronger with us than without us. We have been watching the Mechanists for three moons. Pagan agents are posted in every sector of the city. Your report, Larkspur. One loss in the old city, and two more in Dayport. Sometimes enemies must join forces to overcome a more terrible foe. So tell me, Garrett, yes or no? Are we agreed to work together, sharing knowledge and skills against the Mechanists? I... I put vengeance aside. The Earth keeps my promise for me. Now you have my oath on it. I'm cursed if I break the Covenant. Now your answer. I... Agree that... Good. The Earth keeps your promise for you. So yeah, we're working with Victoria now. You gotta wonder what Karis was thinking. Going after Garrett, making him ally with the Pagans. That wouldn't have happened if you hadn't antagonized him, Karis. Just saying. You can also see how much damage I took. Wow. See you next mission.